I love Miller, Strategy Bell, Gamers, and L tier, SBG Team Base. We are here with our uh, next Army Breakdown video, which will be our third one at this point. And today we're actually doing something a little bit special. I'll be taking one of Joe's armies that he loves to do, and um, this is like his main army. And we'll be uh, breaking this down. And there's a couple differences from what he does, from what uh, other people do I see and here's a little shout out to Joe he is um, a very good player uh, and Rohan is his is his, his oldest army and uh, it's also his favorite army Without further ado, here's the Riders of Thedon Legendary Legion. Um, you, uh, you can take, in order to make this Legendary Legion, you can take Thedon, Amir, uh, Durnhelm, Darrowine, Gambling, Elfhelm, Captain Zerohan. Um, so let's go ahead and pick our heroes. So uh, Thedon is a must. Um, Joe, he always takes Amir. He's a must. Always takes Dirt Helm. Alright, so here's where things start to become a little bit different. He takes he takes Darwin. And instead of taking gambling with that cheeky banner. He always skips that choice and take, actually takes Elfhelm. Here's the logic with Elfhelm. You have one, two, three, four, five heroes that you call death. It's death, it's death. Five heroes that you call death. And um, they, uh, that's five free might points in one turn you can have right gambling has always been uh kind of a mediocre hero that could take the banner and the banner is good but elf helm having that cheaper hero elf helm and then also increasing your models gives gives that uh that army a little bit more knockout power especially if you can stack Riders and Royal Guard into each one of these combats because the death rule allows you to call a free in one turn you can call a free heroic strike or you can call a free heroic combat and so you throw all five of these guys in combat wrap up their combat with war, uh, with Riders Royal Guard call that death in five separate combats for free and then you by that time hopefully kill whatever is in there and then go into the next portion and kill that as well and you have all these heroes might to work with to either win the fight or get the get the kills and um you're talking about killing 10 guys on one turn or more you know or more just a, a minimum of 10 guys if you a minimum of 10 guys if you successfully win your fight and kill the guy that's a really big portion of anyone's army, you know. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure of what he likes to do in terms of uh, warband um, composition. But I know he does like to take Royal Guard and some Riders. The riders give him some banner. They, they, they give him that option to sit back and shoot a little bit, make his opponent come to them. And that's kind of what you want to do with this with Rohan. So we'll go ahead and do um, three, three. Uh, let's go ahead and do six with Theta. I think he takes them all with Theta to be kind of cinematic. And 
and a couple with Amir. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> let's do six. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, let's do six. I think he takes twelve. I think he takes twelve. So, all right. All right. Let's do uh, four. Tab four. Tab five. Tab. Oops, I'm already over. 35 units. So he normally has around 33 uh, units. So he must cut down on his real guard. So let's do that. Let's do 5 and 5. See where that puts us. Okay. Let's cut out some of these. And, and and what I'm trying to do is shoot for 800 points. That seems to be kind of the uh, the meta here in the U.S. nowadays. Uh, 800 points are around there. And, of course, this, this Legendary Legion is fairly flexible. Like, I would say if you had, were going to a smaller tournament, the first thing I would cut out would probably be Elfhelm. And then go for Mortar, Elfhelm, and then maybe cut out, if you're going to even smaller point, maybe cut out Darawan. Although Darawan is really solid. Uh, he has a free heroic combat with if, it, if it's within a certain radius of Thedon. He is trying to get closer to Thedon, but... Alright, so... Next, let's do, um... What are we going to cut next? Well, let's do four. Actually, you know what, let's do, let's do two, because I would like to have a little bit of variety. Two, 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 and two. Good. That's perfect. It says 29 models at 800 points. I have one, two, I have four, eight, 12, 16 bows, two, four, six, eight Royal Guard, and they get a bonus. Um, if they're within a uh, charge, if they're with, they get a bonus, I believe if they're within six inches. Thedon gives a bonus to riders and royal guard, so you fight five royal guard, which is really solid. So you could pair off a royal guard with a rider, piercing strike with a rider, have the fight five bonus. So this is a very competitive uh, legendary legion. I've versed it many times, Alan. And the amount of knockout power it has is devastating. So, I do believe he takes Elfhelm as a solo drop, and then he puts Dernhelm in with Darawine. Because, uh, Dernhelm. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's change that. Dernhelm actually, Warband 3. We'll cut out those models. 4. And we'll run five. We'll go ahead and do the four and the two. Yeah, because Dirthelm counts as an independent hero, and you could put him him into uh, Darrowine's war band. And also another thing about Dirthelm, who is who is Awen, <laughs> um, you can um, I'll, you, you also marry. On that, and so that profile is very solid because you have magic resistance, you have Mary's might, uh, you have horse lord, so you can use Mary's fate as the uh, as the fate for the horse, and uh, then you can use Awin's might and and fate for her. Uh, so it's a very solid piece. Uh, people always underestimate Elfhelm. Elfhelm's magical throwing spear that he has is uh, very solid it could it could kill it could assassinate some guys uh and it can 
and it's really annoying. It's a lot better than you'd think, and just having him as a cheap hero to put in this list uh, to give death is a really good uh, rule. He's better. Than, I think he's better. Than, of course, he's better than a captain, so uh, he's worth taking for sure. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, enjoy. And as always, enjoy your Middle Earth hobby.